This is this little model mill engine. It's uh, double acting with uh, a conventional steam box up here and a slide valve. Uh, this is worked off an eccentric which is down here which moves a slider. There's a simple uh, reversing action here if you slacken off and you move that you can see the way it tilts the actual slide mechanism and uh, and you can see the actual action assumes that you have certain machine tools which not everybody has and it also thinks that you have I don't know if you can see this but I machined all of the stock I used a fly cutter to get a really clean finish on all of these parts because again with these parts this this top cover to the steam chest and then this is the actual uh, valve plate with very fine orifices there are no gaskets here and they have to mate very very closely so of course I machined them with a fly cutter both sides so that they really fit and uh, this wasn't called for in the instructions and I just wonder how many people found uh, uh, little difficulties there that's the other side of the engine you can see the cross head running in this uh, sort of half at wallet and you can go out and buy for example I changed these uh, little this is a steam inlet or a compressed air inlet and this is the compressed air outlet and it assumes that uh, you can go and buy very special taps and dies miniature model pipe threads and just the tap, one tap and one die is going to set you back $70. Well, the cost of the parts, which I think was a little absorbent anyway, was uh, was $80. And, uh, and of course, there are other rather peculiar things. Uh, this little handle, they say that you must... Uh, uh, you, 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 you machine it straight and then bend it. And I thought, wow, do you think they can... You can really bend this brass without annealing it first. It's fairly easy to anneal and soften brass, but no mention was made of it. So, well, I made two and broke them, and I thought I'm going to make them first to my own specification, make them a little thinner, anneal it first, and lo and behold, I could make it. But, uh, and then this little slide valve which is very slim, it goes all the way through to the end here and it's got a tiny little thread in the middle and of course it has to be machined exactly concentric. Well, they said to do this without any, oh well you can't do it, so I had to do it un in centres, which is not in the manual, but uh, anyway, I finally got it together and uh, it, as you can see from the, it runs very well, it's very free and uh, well it's a nice little engine when you finish but uh, oh goodness help me I uh, I had to make several parts over again and, I, and again I didn't do, they say machine this crank and shaft out of one solid piece, oh nonsense I uh, I did it as a separate bit and pressed in the shaft. Valve gear. There we are. Nice little engine, but a bit of a problem to put together the way they wanted it. So, like everybody else, I, uh, I think I can do better, so I did it better, and uh, there it is. This is the little mill engine running in one direction it will run on a very low air pressure and of course if you speed it up it really whizzes
and see if I can get a different viewpoint. This is the engine running in the opposite direction. The reverse lever doesn't seem to have any throttling effect. And it has to be fairly carefully adjusted in both directions. The uh, valve mechanism is so finely, it's a tiny little thing and it's too very small tolerances. As you can see, it's a... Let's see if I can come in just a little closer. You can see it there. Well, actually, it's slowing down now because my air pressure is uh, running down. Still running, still running. because of the very close tolerances and I might say my very careful machining but uh, it will run on very low pressures now mouth pressure or lung pressure whatever you might like to call it is uh, at the most two two and a half pounds per square inch now I just want to show you something that's very interesting. You've got to remember that I'm 80 and my lung pressure isn't all that wonderful. But you just watch this. Pooh! That was all I could blow. But did you see that? That little engine? He's running on lung pressure, mouth pressure. Watch it again. It will even start itself on lung pressure. Now that's something to laugh at, and it's something a little astonishing. What a nice little engine that is. My goodness me.